Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Fresh Perspective with me, Francois Esterhuizen, and we are in the middle, or past the middle, of a series of 50 questions to help you, um, well, it's for personal growth and development. It focuses a lot on uh, passion and kind of finding direction or changing direction in your life. So, um, we will actually jump in at number 31 today, question 31. But I just wanted to tell you, ask you, invite you, if you are taking part in this, write down the questions, write down your answers. Um, because it, without that, you're losing the, um, the, the mirroring effect that it does have. Really, the introspective quality that it, that it can provide, really helping you discover and delve a bit deeper. Um, so the questions are one thing, but your answers are what's really powerful. And without documenting them, or at least sharing them with someone close to you and discussing them in that way, it really does not give you what it could and should, and what I'm hoping that it would give you. So write them down. And um, also, it triggers different questions. So you might be writing down, and a week, a day later, you read the, your answers, and you're like, okay, wait a minute. Here's another question that pops up now, so it helps you just to keep on discovering and, and, and journey, uh, uh, journeying uh, through that whole process. Okay, so here we are. We are at question number 31. But question 31 of today links with question 30. Question 30 was, what hobbies or interests have you had in the last few years that intrigued you and that you might consider pursuing as a life passion? So that links directly, oops, scrolling the wrong way, directly with this one. Are you willing to spend time pursuing these interests to learn more um, by volunteering, part-time work, interning, finding a mentor, etc.? Things like that. So it's really about what are you willing to do to just explore that a bit, to find out more and, and really, let's, let's say, test the waters. Um, what happens internally with you if you move a bit closer to, to the, that passion or that career path or uh, whatever it might be for you. Okay, question 32. There we go. Uh, if you think you know what your passion might be, what concrete work have you done to learn more about it and actually experience it? What are you willing to do to bet yourself in this area? So this is a, you know, it, this question has two layers. So one, if you don't really, um, if you don't know what your passion is, um, that's one thing. But if you feel like, I do know what it is, but you're not currently really living within your passion, you know, um, being able to be passionate about what you do. Like I said in the, uh, one of the previous videos, I, I also feel like passion is something you bring towards whatever you do. But if you feel it's really hard for you to bring your passion towards what you are currently doing, that means, well, uh, you need a shift. You need to shift from, from whatever it is you're doing to, you are doing to something that you feel comfortable bringing your passion to. So I've, sorry, those are a lot of side notes. I get a bit carried away with these. So, if you think you know what your passion might be, what, did you, what, what have you put into it? What concrete work have you done? So, you're not currently doing it, but you think you know what it might be. So, what are, what are you investing in that? Are you, after hours, maybe doing a course or something? Are you, um, you know, setting up interviews or coffee dates with people who work in that specific area that you are interested in and passionate about. Um, you feel like this is something that I would really bring my passion to and my energy to, but you are not currently currently in that field. Okay. Um, and once again, I'm ending the, this, this question with what are you willing to do to better yourself? All right. That's a, that's a very different question from what do you feel you must do? Okay. Next one. 33. Do you have enough savings to allow you to live for six months during a job transition or while you search or pursue your passion? So, you're currently doing something that you might not be as passionate about or struggle to bring your passion to. There's something else that you feel like, you know, that might be it. You've done some work, you've done your research, you, you've equipped yourself, you've interviewed people. Okay, I want to move towards that now. 
do you have the money to support you while you make that transition? And you give yourself six months to transition from this to that. So you'll see the questions, the follow-up questions on this uh, also links with um, how you transition. Okay, let me show you. What can you do to create a cushion of savings if you don't have any? So if you don't have that six months, how can you generate that? How can you create that buffer for you? Otherwise, we just put it off and put it off and put it off. You know, and 10 years go by and you're still not living a, a life or um, pursuing a career or expressing the passion that you have in a way that you would want to do that. So this is about, okay, maybe it takes you a year, two years even to get that six month buffer. But once you transition, you are able to actually bring your passion to whatever it is you choose to do with your life or, um, and really be excited about, about what you're doing and pursuing every day. Hope that makes sense. What can you do to create that buffer? All right, next one, 35. What is the minimum salary that you can afford to live on? <clears throat> so what, what, if you, if you, you know, cut everything that you can cut, cut costs and say, okay, this is the minimum that I think I can live on. It might even mean, and I've done this, moving from a big spot to a small spot. So you have less general overheads. It might even mean um, you have a home. Moving out of that home into a small place, you know, renting out that home and renting a smaller place so you can create that buffer that we've, we've spoken about. And if you reduce the costs of your living, obviously you have more money to, to help you generate that buffer. So as you can see, these questions at this stage get quite radical. You know, in the previous day we were talking about people that might stop you. Now we're focusing a bit on the finances and how you can generate that. Also challenging you to, <clears throat> to look inside and say, okay, um, if you look at what you say you want to do or what you might be passionate about, are you investing time and energy into that? Um, and ultimately, are you investing money in that as well? So it might be money that you invest in doing courses and learning more but also investing money in terms of creating that buffer so you can make that six months um, transition. What are you willing to do to, to get there? Okay, folks, I hope that helps. Um, just change your perspective a bit. Set your mind up to, to reflect on this in a different way because I know that it's, um, it's so hard to set time aside to reflect on this, and that's why so many of us, are stuck in a loop you know we, we're living a life that we don't really feel we can bring our passions to or we're doing a job that we feel that way about and um, we often feel like we're powerless to change to move away from that these questions are all also about you know it's educating you equipping you and empowering you to move out out of that groove that um, track that you are on build a new one that, that aims at the life that you actually want. So let me say one more thing about being, being powerless. We sometimes find hard to remain powerless. You know, saying I can't help it and there's nothing that I can do about it or things like that. Because if we are powerless, we are innocent. So it's not our fault. But as soon as we empower ourselves and, and realize we have some power it might not be a lot to start with but i can you know find out more about this thing i can set aside money to create that buffer whatever it might be then we are no longer innocent and it means we are taking responsibility and that can be scary in itself all right so um write reflect chat to people if you feel like you want to delve deeper into it please uh, you're welcome to book a free consultation call with me just to see what your needs are, what my skills are, do they match? If not, can I help you find someone that can actually help you with that specific thing? Um, and the other resources will also be available for you to get access to. All right, until next time, bye-bye.